comparative effectiveness research, in my mind, is helpful in at least several areas. First, it happens with in the space or in the settings where the patients actually receive their care or closer to where they receive their care in communities, in their doctor's offices, in their care facilities. And additionally, it compares multiple promising interventions for their potential to um, their usefulness for different needs for, of different people. So we know that uh, clinical trials include um, they have strict inclusion and inclusion criteria, and they're extremely valuable for some research questions and some research areas. But they're, the actual patients that a family physician see in their offices, they have unique perspectives, they have unique needs. They, what works for one doesn't work for another. They have their own preferences, and that needs to be addressed, and that's what the comparative effectiveness research does, is that that provides options, and the options that are supported by the evidence for the, the caregiver and the patient to choose from, as well from the, for the health care provider, is what actually works for that particular person. My personal opinion, and also opinion of many, many of my colleagues, that this is just the right thing to do. This is the only way the research can produce results that are useful, used, and relevant to the patients that we are trying to serve.